Right, so I was about to head home from having the uh, rear diffuser and that done, but I said Joel, sent Joel a message saying I'll pop down and see it, and, and luckily he actually said that it popped the car on a dyno. This car's been dynoed, uh, it's a standard map, just all the mods on it at the minute. Apparently it was 251 on a Devil Developments, um, Devil Developments dyno. So I know for a fact Joel's dyno is completely accurate because I've seen so many cars come down here and it's running the power it should be running. Um, if there's things wrong of it, it's been under power. And so Joel's dyno is not biased in any shape or form. So we're going to put the car on the dyno now, see what it actually is running, and then, um, yeah, go from there. You watch them side skirts, Joel. Should be all right. I'll grab the, I'll grab the, I'll grab the, uh, I would say with the mods on, I'd be about, decap. It's not been mapped? Not been mapped. At all? At all. And mate's saying apparently it's 251. So I would say on your gyno with my mods, I would say it should be about 230. I would say 250. I would say about 230, 235. Oh yeah, 230, 235 with the mods. Because it hasn't got crazy amount of mods on it. Right. What do we do? But I will just grab, because in here it is. Yeah, it's low miles, isn't it? Amazing. Right, so if I give that one to you, you can have a look and see what you think of that. Don't worry, I won't get you in it. So this, this is the current apparent readout with yeah, yeah, yeah. all the mods on it. Mm. Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't yeah. we? Oh, you know. Yeah, you got to talk. Sorry, uh, we've all come to the conclusion that even with standard intercooler and everything else as well, just the bolt-on mods we've got underneath at the minute, we're gonna say about 230, 235, I reckon. You feeling that, Joe? We'll find out in a minute. The dyno doesn't lie. This dyno definitely doesn't lie. As you can see, the car just ran 233, same on each run just there. Um, Devil Development's map, or Devil, Devil Development's uh, dyno is obviously out, like 20 brake almost, so that's quite a lot. And that was on, and that was on like its first run as well, so it was at its coldest, um, obviously it was, at, it was the coldest it could be, because obviously now he's dyno and it's going to warm up a lot more, it's going to lose power because it's too hot, um, and at its most it's 233, which is what? I would say it's real true power. So that's why I come down to you now because they're just so much better. It's true figures is what it is. So as you remember, we all put like little, but well, we basically said what sort of power is thinking. Joel and Stuart both have done pl plenty of these focus STs. So they know exactly how they run with all the sort of parts they got on. And they knew the standard cooler and things like that. It's not going to run the 240, 250, um, or 250, what Devil Development's Dino said. So that is really the main reason why I trust these guys and why I bring my cars now, always. I mean, I can't recommend it enough, honestly. If you are around this area at any point or if you want to get in touch with Joe, I'll leave, I'll leave their numbers there. Um, obviously, they've got the garage next door as well. So 
If you ever want things like block mods, you want exhaust systems fitted and that as well, you could have it all done down here. Have it all done in one hit, maybe come down, get it done, get it booked in, maybe have an exhaust system fitted, maybe get everything, all your other little parts done, and then in the afternoon, Joel will be able to map the car for yourself. It's, it's so simple down here, but yeah, like I said, I wouldn't bring my car anywhere else, so this Tune Lab's a place to be. So I obviously didn't get to finish around finishing the video at Tune Lab, but I did want to say a massive thank you to obviously Stuart and Joel for letting me come down afterwards and actually putting the car on a dyno and then let me film it as well. So huge thank you to them guys. I honestly love going down to see them both because they're both such like welcoming and happy chaps and it's really good to go see them. So if you ever want to go down to Tune Lab, um, I'm going to actually explain to you why you should in a minute. Like I'm not doing this as a promotional video, I'm not getting paid or anything from the Tune Lab. Is my personal opinion and the past history I've had with the Tune Lab within, you know, Stuart and Joel itself. So, as you've seen from the video, there was very, very few interesting things to point out. The fact that, for starters, one, the power figures were completely different, like off literally by about what 20 brake horsepower, and like 20 brake horsepower is a huge amount when you're considering the car's like standard. Apart from the fact it's got a Cobra uh, DCAT exhaust system and just a Group A1 induction kit on it for the engine modification wise anyway at the minute. For it to basically put an out 251, uh, Joe and Stuart both suggested that it would have need needed to have about, you know, like a stage two intercooler at least because apparently the intercoolers are so small on the STs and I do like, you know, I. I agree with them there because obviously I did see how small the Fugs ST intercooler actually is. Um, they, they are really small for some reason. I don't know why Ford actually did that, but um, obviously when you're running on dynos, temperatures, it's just going to get really hot really quick. And that's obviously another reason where, you know, you can break down and absolutely screw the liners on um, around the cylinder heads, which a lot of the Focus STs need to block mods are done because they get too hot and start cracking the liners. So that's one thing that Joel and Stuart obviously pointed out as soon as I got there that, I, you know, you, to be even pushing that power, you need to you need to stage two intercooler or stage one, stage two, as long as it's bigger than the yeah, standard intercooler because you're not even gonna get anywhere near those powers figures then. Stuart and Joel didn't do that video with me to rip into um, Devil Developments or anyone like that or any other companies out there because Stuart and Joe are not like that at all. They're there to do what they've always been doing. They've stuck by what they do. Um, Joe and Stuart both know their cars. They both know Fords extremely well, well, especially Stuart, who's obviously grown up around a lot of Fords. And this is probably another reason why I trust them both with my car and which is why I've, why I've also stuck to Fords as well. So Joe is obviously the tuner. Uh, Stuart can tune as well, but he has the race hill garage. Um, the, the Rose Hill, not Race Hill, Rose Hill Garage. Uh, but I will leave the link in the description down below, like I said in the video. But I just want to explain a few more things as to why I actually choose Stuart and Joe to do work on my car and tune it and things like that. So, as you know, with my Fiesta ST 180, I took it to Joe, and I had a lot of people complaining and saying, Luke, your car stage two was only running 220 brake horsepower. Now, remember, guys, that 220 brake horsepower is real. Power, right when I took the ST to Joel it was running the actual power it was supposed to be running standard maybe the extra two three brake horsepower with the mods out on when it was completely standard with the standard map but the car was still making the power it's supposed to be making which is what you want to be seeing you know that's you don't want to go to a diner like I did with AK motors I'm not having a go at you AK motors if you're watching this but apparently you said my car is running about 225 brake horsepower with a standard map on it which for those mods which is just like you know that's like a 10% increase of what it's supposed to be it's um I I'm gonna say this, right? These big companies, you've got Revo, you've got, um, I don't know, it's like AT, I don't know what AT are like, so I can't actually go into them. But I know you've got Revo and you've got, um, what are the other big tuning companies? Um, I only really know Revo for like Ford actually. But there's loads of companies up country that, um, you know, that tune your cars and all they want is your money. I can guarantee you now, I swear down my life, I do YouTube obviously, right? So I'm gonna go for the best things and try and help you guys out. I'm not gonna be putting up crap on air. So the reason why I choose Tune Lab is because you get a live dyno run. And I mean, um, I mean credit goes to the people as well that actually do live um, like road mapping as well, where you go out in the car, got your laptop and you're mapping that as well. That's that's one thing I would say go for as well. Stick to who you know. Fair enough if you've been with Revo all this time but and Revo and stuff like that. But you get a lot of Revo main dealers now. Uh, I know MJ Performance do it, and I'm not having to go at MJ Performance because they're awesome guys and they've made a sick Fiesta track car. It does, it's awesome, I absolutely love it. But like, how are you ever gonna know 
what sort of power you're running or what power you're going to get in out of a car. If you've got no dyno there telling you what you're getting, anyone can get a base plug-in map. You can get these bluefin maps that go on the Focus STs. Um, I've had people struggling with their uh, their fuel rails absolutely shitting themselves because the fuel has been absolutely lean as fuck on it and it's just ruined but, uh, injectors and everything as well. It just messes everything up. So that's another reason why I choose Tuning Lab because I know the power is there realistic. And as you've seen, guys, the car ran 230, uh, 233, I think it was. This, is, this video is a couple of days after now and I haven't checked the Dynaprint since, but I think it was 233 the car made. Um, which is like normal figures for what the modifications have got in a minute and without any math at all. So I'm going to address that and leave that there. I'm not going to go into it for more detail. If you want to get involved with the Tuning Lab, um, comment down below, guys, and I will get you hooked up or I'll leave their links in the description down below as well. You can give Joel and Stuart a message. They're happy to help all the time. They're always there. Um, just don't go crazy bombarding them with a message. If, it, if you do and you take a while to reply, you'll know why now because a lot of you might be messaging them and getting involved. But they're based in Chevy, which is down near my way. Um, I just want to put a few videos up as to what Joel is capable of with these Focus STs as well. He's done anti-lag maps and stuff like that on it, which, um, yeah, they can be bad for your car, for your turbos and things like that, but it's something that you're going to want to do. Like Joel always puts out like a disclaimer that you can sign, you've got to sign and things like that if anything goes wrong with your car, where any dyno, you know, any dyno test or any tune in place should really, because at the end of the day, it's not down to them. It's your personal choice if you want your car modified. It's just don't go for the big companies anymore, guys. Like, well, I'm not, you don't have to, you can do what you want. But me personally, giving you my um, honest opinion, I'm not going for these big money growing companies because it's pointless and you don't get the real power, you know. Like my Fiesta I used to have, 220 brake, I was beating Peron stage two, that was apparently 240, 245 brake was, but I was beating it with 220 brake real power fiesta ht so it just you know it's just proof the proof is in the pudding as they say anyway i'm gonna leave you guys with a few clips as to what joel gets onto down at tune lab with some of the cars he's mapped things like that just enjoy anyway guys subscribe to my channel if you're new as well hit the like button hit the bell button and check out all my social media also check out the every tv apparel merch link in the description down below enjoy these clips and i'll see you in the next video bye bye Mmm. -hmm.